we have a lot of carbon dioxide in here. We can pump it out into here. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So we need to make a room over here. Hey guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Figured, you know, we've been playing a lot of cross out lately. Uh, I thought it was time to, you know, kind of mix it up a little bit. We're gonna, there's still gonna be a lot of cross out on the channel. Uh, Terra Tech also. You know, I figured might as well play another game just to kind of keep it fresh and, you know, something new all the time. So I don't get bored and you guys don't get bored. So there's been quite a few updates to Oxygen Not Included. It's uh, pretty much a new game for me. Uh, with all the upgrades or updates they've done. I think there's probably been about five or six since last time we played. There's another one coming in three weeks, four days. As you guys can see, what's the latest update has been the ranching upgrade, Mark II. But I'm not even 100% sure what that's all about. So let's just dive into the game and uh, we'll figure it all out from there. All right, so first things first, we need to pick a dupe or get our first three dupes in the game. And uh, so <laughs> each dupe has its own attributes. Uh, traits, interests, and ad additional stuff. Pretty much what you're looking for is their stress response. Uh, there's vomiters, binge eaters, destructive, ugly criers. <laughs> the attributes right now are what the, is the most important thing for us. Uh, we're trying to look for either ugly crier or destructive off the bat. Um, destructive later on uh, are a real pain in the butts, especially if they're, they're really stressed out because they deal a lot of damage. And then you guys are always uh, cleaning up after or fixing everything they break, right? But, well, the ones what we're looking for right off the bat is something with, like, learning, strength, construction, digging. This one's no good to us. I don't really like it. So you can go up here at the for your first three dupes, and you can shuffle them, and you can keep changing them. That one that we just went by was actually pretty good eight to digging. All right, so I think I have got all of our dupes here that I thought would work for us off, right off the bat. So I also forgot the, the binge eaters. The binge eater is for their stress response and those guys, they'll just eat you out of house and home immediately. But yeah, so we went with the uh, Ren here with the plus four athletics, construction, farming, and strength. And obviously the higher the number, uh, the better they are at what they do. Uh, strength is about tidying speed and carrying capacity. Uh, farming obviously is how helping uh, grow uh, food for you. And then construction is build time, right? Then we have uh, Gossman here with plus five cooking because I've made the mistake of not prioritizing cooking and every time our farm is just about to take off, we always end up having to make food. So we, I figured, you know what, we need to have somebody that can actually really cook for us. And uh, the faster the cooking they can do, the better for us because cooking uh, with the micro musher takes up a lot of time. Uh, Nicola <laughs> with one athletics, two to cooking, two to digging. Or to kindness, uh, which means he works better with other people and medical care speed. Uh, and then two to ranching and tinkering. So some of these are brand new to me, like the ranching and kindness. And I think there's another one over here and farming. These are all new things that have popped up with the new update. Uh, and their traits are squeamish. So this one can't care. Iron gut uh, <laughs> ignores the effects of diarrhea. Uh, small bladder obviously goes to the bathroom more often. Uh, quick learner, which is good. Yokel is the bad thing, so he can't do research. We have a learning right here, and that's pretty much it. And then we have a caregiver plus three kindness. So, uh, and then destructive vomitor, vomitor, unfortunately. All right, so we're in our world, just uh, like this. Pause it. We'll zoom out really quickly. Not a ton of water. There's enough, but not a ton, right? Usually I like to consolidate all our water, so I'll probably get this water to come down here. That way it'll make it... Oh, I thought I paused it for a second, but we didn't. They already have a stress response of four. But yeah, we'll try and get most of our water down. Um, CO2, you can see it uh, right here. It gives you the oxygen overlay, breathable, or very breathable, breathable, barely breathable, and unbreathable. So obviously can't breathe that. It's all right. They, they hold their breath, but it's just uh, they, they can't work for long periods of time in there. Um, let's check the temperature overlays. Which is is an important part here. Uh, I don't like this. You can see that this biome right here is leaching into here, so not the best thing because uh, this will just become a hot spot. Oh wait, that's scorching. I bet you there's a geyser right here. Let's see, igneous rock or phosphorus. Hmm. I will leave that for now, and uh, yeah, we need to start doing the the outline of our base. So let's go like this, get them to dig this way. 
like that. Right here, this oxalate is going to produce some oxygen for us right off the bat. We're going to have to go this. We're going to need a lot of copper. And then I don't want to make the mistake I've made many a times before. And that is kind of have a good layout for our base right off the bat. Otherwise, it just ends up being horrible. Let's spin them up just a little bit more. What we'll do is, yeah, mine this way, mine that way. Uh, we're going to have to build some furniture. Maybe we'll go like that. I'm really worried about this heat, though. Because we don't have anything yet. There are blocks later on that you can get that are that'll insulate the, the walls to stop the heat from coming in. Well, I guess we could put batteries down there or something. I don't know. Yeah, it's really coming in. We'll see. Uh, as soon as the dupes start to dig this way, we'll see what's on this side. And if there's a geyser there, that will definitely work for us. If not, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. Okay. Make a bigger floor. Like that. But here's the slime biome, which is a good one for us. Like this. Get them to dig this out. I need to get some of their beds going right off the bat. Nobody likes sleeping on the floor. We're also going to need to get a bathroom going. Because I always miss that one too. But if we have a guy with a small bladder, obviously it's going to be an important thing. Okay, duplicates temperature. Okay, close that. This is all alright so far. Yeah, just issue with that guy get the tunnel here we'll uh, end up tunneling across here or at an angle and getting all this water here to pour here and then we'll have a large supply of water ready for us all right here we go we're gonna get that water Ooh, Dan fell down we're gonna get this water moved down into this area got some storage set up here uh, oxygen not so bad at the moment what I want to do though is I want to keep everything kind of together ish for the moment so we'll go like that Get a battery going, because we need to get into researching immediately. Cancel that. Go to stations. Go there and get some wires run across. I want to see the new research tree. I'm sure it's uh, changed quite a bit. Okay, they don't seem to be doing what I'd like them to do. They should be able to come up this way. The sand just dropped in the way. It looks like water doesn't have the same effect it used to. Water, like if it was like this, it would destroy this block and fall through. Used to take, it used to be like two blocks um, that would hold back water. There we go. So that works for us. It's going to start to flood upwards a little bit, but it's going to give us a nice pool of water. Uh, hopefully it's not, ooh, that could be an issue there's heat coming from the bottom here so it might actually heat up this water and that's what we don't want so we're gonna have to keep an eye on that uh, over here not horrible yet and okay let's start our research we'll go in here wow this has changed quite a bit it's pretty big all right let's start with something simple I guess and yeah the farms that's what we need to get going right off the bat we'll get them researching that now, here's where the balancing comes into issue. So this uh, manual generator, you need to have a dupe that can, you know, kind of run, or an extra dupe always being able to run around to generate, run on it so you can generate energy that's stored in the battery, which is then used by the research station, right? But uh, very quickly, we end up using, we'll end up using all our dupes and all that power. So, oh, we have another dupe available to us. Like that. Okay, let's... So our food, or ration box is not too bad, but not great yet. Let's take a look at the Ugly Crier. Through to Athletics, Construction, Cooking, Digging, Farming, Learning, Kindness, Noodle Arms, and Early Bird. Noodle Arms is pretty good. Uh, minus two strength, that's not a big deal. The Vomiter, Construction, Farming, Strength, Kindness, Athletics, Pacifist, Won't Do Combat, and Caregiver. You know what? We'll go with this one. I, we don't want the binge, inger, binge eater at all, so we'll go like that. Gonna have to get them another bed. Furniture. Pretty much we'll write this floor off for beds. 
This will be for storage and uh, research stations. And then we're going to build another floor up here for uh, farms. Hopefully. <laughs> if all goes to plan. Now we have an issue already. I just noticed it. We haven't gotten the warnings yet. Um, we don't have any more oxalite, so there's no more good oxygen being created. We're going to have to fix that. And I think the best place... Hmm. This isn't a good place to put it down here. But I don't want to put it up top either. Go like that. And then... Yeah, we're going to have to run another wire down. Uh, yeah, we'll run it across. Across for it. Oof. And hopefully, yeah. Get those all dug out so that the oxygen will flow around. The, the bad air un and the unbreathable air are heavier, so they'll always drop. Uh, usually, we build like a normal, uh, like a large cave, I guess, for all that air to drop into. Let's take a look here. All right, it looks like they got most of it actually, so we can go like that, punch a hole in here, and lots of it will drop into this area, which we don't have. <laughs> There's not a lot of room for it. Uh, we could put it, some of it over here too, actually. Yeah, it is heating up there. Yeah, let's just zoom out a little bit. I don't think there's an ice biome around us, unfortunately. Doesn't look like it at the moment. Okay, research. We'll get the, no, yeah, advanced research station going. We've gotten some stuff going. Uh, I do have the planter boxes up here. Uh, but I do believe that we need to have a fridge before we can actually take the, like the, we can grow meal lice at the moment. We only have one seed, but we can grow it. Uh, but I believe for us to actually stockpile it, we need to have a fridge. In the fridge, we need to have an advanced research station going. Ooh, this is not good. We ran out of power. All right, there we go. So obviously no air was being produced uh, during the night, which isn't a bad thing. Uh, the air isn't great, but it's not horrible. Like it's not all red <laughs> or purple, It's kind of blue. And then, you know, there's the touches of red here and there. Um, but you know, we can live through it. Cause I did get the micro musher going. Uh, I have them just building, or what are they called? Uh, mush bars. And then hopefully they'll put it in the ration box. So that hopefully in the future, very shortly, we can get farming going. But we're going to have to deal with some other stuff to begin with. Need a way to get rid of the polluted water. Down here to up into our compost. Because that is uh, the little stink bubbles that are coming up there. And there we are. We are out of food at the moment. So we're going to have to use mush bars. So let's go in here. Uh, choose the duplicate. Three to cooking. Two to farming and six to strength. Small bladder, unconstructive. That's not great. Vomiter and another ugly car. Five to learning, strength. Uh, loud sleeper, though. Loud sleepers are, you have to put them by themselves. Otherwise, they uh, wake everybody up during this, the night and then it triggers a stress response. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll print Lindsay. Let's just uh, get Lindsay a bed right off the bat. And we're going to have to put Lindsay by herself. Furniture, there we go. As soon as they build it, then we'll uh, assign her to that bed. Alright, uh, now what else do we need to do? Uh, I've been doing some research. Not a ton, but uh, what is it? Power regulations we're working on right now. We have the basic farming, advanced research, ventilation, and interior decor. So we need to get the advanced uh, research station going. Here. Oxygen's horrible. Yeah, because I don't want to put them down side by side down here. So I'll put this other station, supercomputer. Yeah, I'll put them right there. And then we'll actually put another battery here. And run power straight across. Hopefully that works. It, uh, the micromusher and the supercomputer will be drawing off the same power supply or source. What else am I thinking here? Uh, oh, yes. Where was it? Station, right? Yeah, there's a job board now. So let's put down the job board and see what this is all about. Uh, research complete. We'll go like 
that. Start the plumbing. Colony lacks research assistant. Oh, okay. Research research assistant, scientist, or tenured scientist. Okay, hold on. Let's. I don't know what that's all about. Let's take a look into here. Jobs. Oh, okay. You can actually give somebody or give your dupes jobs. Nice. All right. So okay, let's look at scientist right off the bat. Architect, go for research assistant, scientist, tenured scientist. Okay, there. Lindsay's our best for that. Ooh, sous chef. You have Gossman is cooking a five. Farmhand. Ren loves the farm. Okay. What is Mary's attributes? Five to digging, three to athletics. Okay, so nothing too great. So yeah, we can make her that. Nicholas. Been all over the place. Ooh, uh, kindness. So we'd want that person to be in uh, being a doctor. Mine digger, plumber, chef, artisan. Maybe scientist is the overall, right? Alright, groundskeeper. Does Nicola fall in this one? No. Nope. Engineer. Okay, there's Nicola. Sure, why not? Sounds good. Now what happens? Oh, now they put hats on. <laughs> Alright. I guess that works. Alright, now... For some reason, who was that? Uh, Lindsay was cooking. So what we need to do is go into priorities. Let's go like that. Cancel that one. You guys have no interest in cooking. Do not touch it. Research. Lindsay, that's your top priority. I'm with you, Ren. Scientist, engineer. Sure, why not? Uh, I think we're good. For everything else at the moment. Keep it running. And how's our oxygen doing? Still not the greatest, but we're gonna get there. Alright, so progress has been slowed a little bit. <laughs> I, I have them digging a, well, obviously a ladder here. Gonna dig out here, and then down into here, and that is because of this uh, polluted water. Uh, at the moment, there's nothing I can do about the polluted oxygen. But yeah, uh, we'll have the bottle emptier right here. We'll place it somewhere so it they drop all the polluted water down into here, and then it just stockpiles for later usage. We'll probably even tunnel up here and get all that water to come down here so that we ha don't have it sitting above our head. Also, I noticed that there's a new type of, I don't know, a plant growing here. Sorry, you guys. Um, and I'm guessing that we can mass produce this. So it's wild growth, air pressure, blah, 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 all that good stuff. Dust cap produces mushroom fungal growth that can be harvested for food. Yeah, it, the micro masher takes up so much time. Uh, it takes up a lot of water. And it requires about three or four people to be constantly monitoring it. Even if you have just the cook working there, there's people bringing dirt, water all the time. So at the moment, we're kind of, everything's been halted. Insufficient water. Oh, okay, it needs to be delivered. Perfect, okay. So, set direction to left, right. So when they come out of here, they'll wash their hands so that they're not uh, spreading germs throughout the place. Food poisoning, okay. But, right now we don't have an extra duplicate that can just run around and do anything, so we need to get another guy, even though we are kind of like borderline not being able to handle it here. Nothing too good here. Ugly Crier, Creativity, Athletics, Digging, Digging, and Strength. Just trying to think what is a good job for, not a farmhand, Groundskeeper. Gopher is Strength. Apprentice Architect is Construction. Becoming an Apprentice Architect manually improves, marginally improves the duplicate's construction speeds. Alright, so which one did we want to click on there? Duplicant, plus three. Yeah, let's go with this guy. And digging, plus five. That works for us. Okay. There we go. Print Jean. And then Jean will give her the job. Okay, maybe we'll... Like this. And... There. Jean will be happy there. I was wondering why we weren't making... Or why this oxygen was being such a pain in my butt. We weren't, uh you know, pushing all of this nasty air out of here. And the reason for that is because the room is actually becoming overpressurized. 
Uh, I think at the moment we just ran out of power. But yeah, if there's too much pressure in the, the surrounding area overall, these machines actually turn off. That's why we're having issues there. Uh, sweet. Now we have a fridge. So, food production. Where do we want to put a fridge? This is all sleeping quarters. Make it caught there. Stress is 62%. That's not good at all. 97% immune systems. Oh, okay. They have 100%. All right. 63. So, we should probably get a massage table going, too. And fridges, like I was just saying. Probably be best to have the fridges there. We're gonna have to put another battery down just for a while. I'm hoping that we can find like um, a natural gas geyser. That's what we're looking for. Natural gas geyser, then we can pipe that in and get our natural gas generators online. But that could take a second or more. Let's go like that. Okay. That is what we want to do there. So now we can start by actually getting rid of all of this. Thought we were going to need it, but we don't need it at the moment. But we need to get a shower going anyways. This is where we start running into trouble. We'll go like that. Actually, this will probably work for us because we can put a toilet right here, so... Don't have it just yet, the toilet, so we're going to have to research it. Ladder, though. I think I can still start to grow stuff ahead of time. Like that. There. Need to get some light on the situation. Yeah, I like it like that, so we'll have to go... That... Power... No, I don't want to. We'll go like... This. Kind of a waste. Or I guess it's kind of overboard. But at the same time, I think it'll work better in the end. Not having to run wire, you know, a couple miles for some reason. For no reason, really. <laughs> Get that food going. Research. Power, brute force, refinement. Produces sand from raw minerals. A germ sensor. Here, that's what we want. The bathrooms. Alright, oxygen's horrible here. Okay, hold on. We're so <laughs> There's so much we have to do. Just kind of go like that for the moment until we have mesh tile available to us. Uh, and then we need, to, I want to, I want to uh, see if we can uh, start growing these fungal spores. Growth will resume with condition improves. Carbon dioxide. That sounds like a good thing for us. We have a lot of carbon dioxide in here. We can pump it out into here. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So we need to make a room over here. Unfortunately, it's not the greatest, but we had to... We're going to have to pump water all the way from down here. Unreachable build. That's fine. Uh, eventually, they'll get down to it, hopefully. Uh, the What is it? The pipe and wires are run this way all the way up. And then I ran some wires over here to be powered by this guy. Uh, I disconnected this, but we should actually put a priority on these builds. Thought they get done to nine. Uh... Just to separate them so that there wasn't a ton of power loss, and if there is power loss, we're still gonna get we're still gonna get oxygen being produced, which is the big thing. I bet you it looks horrible right now. Yes, it looks deadly. Um, but anyway, so the pipe goes up into the bathroom. Then there's a discharge. Here, let's uh, go into this. We'll go into the pipes. So the discharge goes up here. It goes through our planter boxes, down, over, jumps back across. Now, honestly, I would have liked to have put the bathroom on this side. Then you run the uh, plumbing this way, and then you run it this way, and then it just goes out, right? We'll fix that later on, but at the moment, this is just the intersection, right? Uh, maybe later I'll put a couple of bathrooms over here, and then it'll just pump, be pumped up that way. But then it goes down here, over here, down here, and to here, which it'll drip out into this large basin, which we have. Um, it's going to take, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time, 
Uh, I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Oh, there's some research going on here. What do I have being researched at the most? Filtration, that's right. Because we want to get the CO2 out of here and over here. There's a lot of stuff like the food production and research requires a lot of, of dupes, unfortunately. So, just hope that everything works out. Can't remember how to prioritize empty pipe, harvest, wrangle. Either way, uh, hopefully they get that done quickly. Come on. Wire, there we go. Wire, put that to a nine also. Guys aren't prioritizing the right stuff. They're not gonna sleep well, cause look at that. Just horrible. Oh, and now we have another dupe ready for us. We get this done. Uh, as you guys can see, that's the effect of the loud sleeper. How far? So if you have any other dupes sleeping within that area, they will continuously wake up. Uh, just like if they're running out of oxygen here. Um, okay, come on. Somebody. There we go. There we go. And now, during the night, this should be able to run all by itself. And we don't have to worry about uh, our dupes dying. But... I think we've gotten a lot done for the very first episode of a new <laughs> new series. Yeah, actually, I'm going to say hopefully we don't die at all. Uh, but we all know my luck with uh, oxygen not included. <laughs> so that's going to do it for this episode, guys. So if you guys liked the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.